And we are back. I hope everyone was able to make sure they had taken a really nice bathroom break there, gone to the intermission counter, and gotten your um, your uh, sweets as well as your drinks. Let's all go to the lobby. Got yourself a snack. Excellent. Okay, social media, Twitter. Let's see, what have we got going on on our Twitter accounts these days? Uh, D- D- the Creative Genius at Delta Tango Mike. That's uh, D A C R E A T I V E genius. Uh, saying now that the Art is King Flipboard magazine is now available and up. You can go to flipboard.com and check out the uh, Art is King Flipboard magazine. That'll definitely give you updates, like we mentioned, of what's going on in August for Art is King. So thank you, Mike. Delta Tango Mike. I love that. Dan the man is so creative. Thank you, Dan. Okay, Masioka is discussing Heroes' time-bending return in the new Heroes Reborn saga. I guess we get to see Hero and how he has twisted back into the future of that series. There are now two Deadpool trailers up at fanboynation.com. So all the little crazy comic people that love Deadpool can check out his trailers. There's a new one up. Let's see, Wizard World is now delivering convention surprises monthly in the form of goodie boxes. For those listed out at, you can be ordering a box by the month, by the three months, or by a year. Oh, wow. So, that's ComicConBox.com, C-O-M-I-C-O-N-B-O-X.com. Uh, one box is twenty nine ninety nine. Three boxes is eighty nine ninety seven. Pretty sure you have to order the uh, the bulk price up front. Um, but they have lots of different goodies, including possible tickets to Wizard World events. So that's pretty good. Okay, Ant Man movie is now the hidden gem among all the Marvel movies of the summer start. So I saw Ant Man. I love that film. So you definitely need to check it out. You will enjoy it. It for me, it was like Honey I Shrunk the Kids on steroids. So you'll love and do stay to the very, very end. There are several um, sneak previews, one before and then one after the credits. So check out the one after the credits. Don't get up and leave. You will kick yourself. Trust me, it leads right into the next series of movies. Okay, what's trending on YouTube? Ah. We have a couple of uh, sites, YouTube sites, that are definitely, um, <laughs> you've you got to check them out. Uh, there's one from Japan called Pon Pon Pon. That's P-O-N, P-O-N, P-O-N. Uh, some friends of mine have described it actually as HR Puffin Stuff and Pee Wee's Playhouse if they had gotten together and had a love psycho child. Uh, they have English and Japanese versions of multiple times, and you just have to check it out. It is wild. Their production stuff availability is insane over in Japan. Now, if you really want to get into it, it's a lot of fun shorts, um, Wasabi Productions, an English web, uh, YouTube site channel here, that's W-A-S-S-A-B-I Productions, they cover the gamut, and they can keep your your tween-aged children and teenagers and some adults with some <laughs> too much time on their hands uh, totally enthralled with their productions. Okay, let's see. Let's take a look here. Uh, small press. I think this time we have a couple of focuses on United Fans and Organization press releases. Uh, issues of oh, Larry Johnson's Tales of Fantasy. That's a 40-page uh, release, black and white interior color cover. Um, really, it's great. Each issue is it's only $3. And uh, you end up with lots of different characters. The The tapestry is extremely varied and in-depth that Larry has created uh, with Lou Brown Investigations, characters like The Hand, and Ohm the Electric Man, or Mr. Morfote, you know, this undertone villain of the sideshow world, and Madame Bugala. I mean, it's... It's just awesome, you know, crazy. And you can see a lot of his style of artwork, his writing, as well as his paintings, which he uses on the covers. So you can get your copy at www.larryjohnsonartist.com or send $3 to uh, 31 Greenbook Road, Hyde Park, Massachusetts, 02136. Um, his email is also 
L E W B R O W N seventy five at yahoo dot com for any and all questions. Uh, the UFO f- newsletter Tetragrammed in Fragments or T Frags is up to issue number two thirty nine this month. Um, the UFO newsletter is the central form for the members of the group. It's just twenty four pages long, black and white, two fifty an issue. Um, put out by the current chairman, Rob Imes. Now you can get that copy by sending him two fifty one three five one zero Cambridge number three zero seven Southgate Michigan four eight one nine five or email him at Rob Imes at yahoo dot com R O B I M E S at yahoo dot com. Um, you can check out such uh, eight or eight or nine contributing. Um, zine and publishing ads, as well as many comic um, groups that are produced under the United Fans and organization currently. Uh, in fact, they'll be uh, getting a new a chairman. I believe Rob is, is going to be continuing the tenure as the current chairman into next year. But uh, you check out a lot of stuff because you can definitely get some instructions. You get personal reviews. You get characters. But we're encouraging all to join the T T Frags in the United United Fancy Organization. So it has the submission information and guidelines for actually joining um, the UFO, which we encourage all young publishers and independent artists um, to go ahead and become a member. That way we can maximize small press. Um, and we can get things done across the U.S. and abroad, as we have several Canadian friends also involved. Okay. Well, I think that's all we really have time for today, um, knowing that we have um, gone through th- everything with the five C's, uh, comics, characters, creativity, Connections and culture. Um, check out Hero Central TV um, because we are able to, able to produce and hold a lot, not only of the podcaster, but many of the uh, small productions. Steve Lisevsky has a couple of um, videos up there of his actual digital coloring of Hero Central TV junior webcomic characters and the panels that go up on the weekly uh, um, webcomic page over at HeroCentral.org so you get a chance to see him color Seneca and Kid Achilles and um, Kenito as <laughs> and how they battle um, the forces of evil um, or at least try to when they're learning how to train to fight those battles and deal with each other so you can check that out uh, one last item you will be able to note, and that is um, my novel is out and about over at Amazon.com. It's called Gnosis Guidestones, and uh, it's been out for about a year now um, at uh, Amazon.com. It's a great introductory story to this new series dealing with Jay Elbert and his family legacy here, here of where it deals with Elberton, Georgia and the uh, the large megalithic stones and what they represent to the peoples here in Georgia in the past and the future of this small group of uh, well they think they're a small group they actually have so much connection into the world scene that they're just now blossoming onto it. Um, you get to learn about Jay and how he deals with uh, family's gift and what it means to his um, ability to survive, <clears throat> even with the attention of uh, members of the Vatican um, and what they feel that he represents um, to the current populace with being so close to these megalithic stones. Uh, it's only nineteen ninety nine. I believe it's on sale right now for $17 over at Amazon, and they do have a digital copy version as well. So check it out. You can look it up. Again, that's Gnosis, G-N-O-S-I-S, colon, Guidestones, G-U-I-D-E-S-T-O-N-E-S. Um, picture the front cover was done by Keith Daniel, local stock photographer and author himself here in the Marietta effort, uh, Marietta area. I'm sorry. We want to thank him for all of his efforts. Um, 
Another mention also, uh, Jerome Montgomery, who is usually um, a great guest on the show, is actually moving this weekend into his new home, into Edenton, Georgia. So he wasn't able to be with us. So we want to give a shout out to him. Yo, man. Um, because it looks like he's going to be um, enjoying himself out in Eatonton. Um, lots of area, lots of calm, lots of peace. And uh, I think that's one thing we could all hope for in the crazy days of today. Okay, well, I think if you have any questions or any comments or any things you'd like to say, email us at HeroCentralStudio at gmail.com, and we'll be glad to mention it directly to you in any reply. Thank you for all your support, everybody, and Ciao.